All right, so we're back for day two of the what sold. If you missed yesterday's what sold, definitely go check it out. Over the next seven days, an entire week, we are going every day, a new video coming out showing you guys everything that sold in our store. Today, it's going to be sales from last Tuesday. We had a total of 22 items sell for $1,002. <clears> if you saw the last video, you know how this works, but gonna give you guys a quick rundown in case you did not see the last video. The prices that I say are going to be what the buyer paid, not including shipping, sales tax, and all that jazz. It's just going to be the offer amount or the list price that they paid. And we are gonna just blow and go, as we like to say here, and just roll through these. So the first one is a Mizzen in Maine. The sale price was a best offer at $23.08. Mizzen in Maine, everyone knows, great brand, but it is going down in value. <clears throat> you used to be able to get 30, 35 bucks plus shipping all day for these a year ago. Now it's down to about that $25 mark on average. Uh, sometimes you can pull 30, maybe 33 if you have a really good pattern. Um, but yeah, Miz and Main, I think that is a given for everyone. Next, we have another pair of Ariats. Yesterday we sold an Ariat pair of jeans. Today, again, Ariat M2 relaxed boot cut, size 40, 36. Had some quite the distressing going on with some uh, stains here and there on the front, but not a big deal. Ended up taking a best offer for $33.99. Whenever it comes to jeans, especially Ariats, the stains and stuff and the distressed look does not worry us whatsoever because many people buy these to work in and get dirty, so they don't mind buying already dirty jeans whenever it comes to stains uh, because they're getting a slight discount than paying, obviously, for a basically brand new pair, you know, a like new pair or even new tags pair. Next, we have Johnny O, one of the brands. Like I said in the last video, some of this stuff you're going to see since you're seeing everything now is going to be stuff that's good and bad. This is one of those brands that we have stopped picking up unless it's literally a dollar or two, simply because the value of most of their stuff has gone down too much to be worth picking up. <clears throat> um, so this one, Ended up selling at a best offer of $15.92. So not a horrible sale, but these used to sell all day for $25, and now they just are not really worth it. Had a couple flaws here with a little pill on the front lower side, but other than that, was in pretty good shape. Next, we have a Fred Perry polo, new with defects. So little spot here that will come out most likely once the buyer gets it, takes tags off and washes it. Um, probably just a little smudge from something and yeah Fred Perry pretty good brand um, this one was worth a lot because of it being new with tags even though there was a defect I believe this is an overseas brand in Europe or something so there's not a lot of them around here in the US but they do pop up every once in a while in the thrift stores and we typically buy them unless they are super messed up uh, but yeah this one ended up selling for the list price of $64.99 Next is a Vineyard Vines size large performance polo. Uh, we just started messing around with the Vineyard Vines stuff here and there whenever it comes to like their polos and stuff like that. Typically the pants we can't buy or shorts because the pricing here in Dallas is astronomical on pants and shorts for some reason. Um, <clears throat> whenever it comes to the sale price of Vineyard Vines and the sell through rate, there's just not enough margin to play with there. Uh, like, for example, shorts are, you know, starting at 8 bucks here and pants start about $10. So whenever they sell for 20 bucks or 15 bucks, there's just no room for any play. But the polos, every once in a while, you can find them, you know, for a few dollars here or there, 3 4 bucks at certain thrift stores. And this is one of those cases. Ended up selling this one pretty quickly within a month for the ask price of $18.88. So not a bad sale. And we are, again, experimenting with Vineyard Vines. No clue really what's amazing to buy yet and what's not. Um, of course, we had a little flaw here from Goodwill, classic Goodwill, punching holes straight through clothing, you know, in the business of uh, <clears throat> not having things go to landfills, but they like to damage things in the process of selling them, so making them less desirable. So next we have a uh, Beretta button-down shirt. Uh, Beretta is really not an amazing brand, one of those brands where we have to pay, you know, $3 or less for, and it's very rare you come across Beretta here that is $3 or less, but whenever we do find it, we do usually pick it up. It has a slow sell-through rate, just an FYI, uh, probably 50% or less, I believe, unless you have 
you know, elbow patches or it's a shooter style, then that's going to be worth a little bit more and also have a higher sell through rate, but just these generic button down shirts, whenever it comes to shirts, typically take a little longer to sell and sit a little bit longer and don't go for as much money. This one ended up going for a best offer at $17 and 64 cents. Next is a pair of Hoka's. One of the cheaper models that they make, an older model, the Kavu 3, uh, men's size 11, just a black and white pair of Hoka's, nothing special. I think I bought these for 10 bucks, and they ended up selling for a best offer of 30 So it took a massive offer discount on that, about 20%, which is not typical for us, but I listed this on the higher side uh, because Hoka's I usually list on the higher side, and I like to let them sit. Um, so... Ended up taking the best offer at 30 simply because the comps, the sell through rate was not amazingly high on this model. So, yeah. Next is a pair of Ultra. Ultra in general, I'm not an amazing expert on Ultra shoes. I believe that about half of them are really good to get, and then the other half are really bad just in general. They don't sell ever. So, this is one of the ones I typically look up the ones that have these more of the trail running soles on them, where they have more of a, uh, a coarse sole with more tread on the bottom, which looks like a trail running sh a sole. So I usually look these models up and they do have model numbers, the ALOA 546Z480. That is the model number, I believe. And if that is not, no, that is a model number. Yeah. So that's model number. We'll bring up the exact shoe. <clears throat> this one ended up being pretty decent. I paid $6.99 for these. And I think they sat for a couple months, but they ended up selling for $36 at a best offer. So not a horrible sale from $6.99 into $36. The Gator Trap Ultras are one of the ones that I really like to pick up. So if I ever see Gator Trap on the back heel, I always buy those because they do really well in our store. And that's a great... Um, time to add in if you did not see the previous video, but typically I will add in that this is just what we buy and what we sell It doesn't mean that you're always gonna make money buying these things Do your research figure out what sells well and just because we sell something well in our store does not mean that it sells well in everyone else's store Everyone's business models are made up of this uh, different tactics ours for example has free returns and all these other things that make up Confidence and a buyer's ability to buy an item which thus leads to higher sale prices so all that being said, make sure you do your research. And just because we show you a brand on here does not mean go out and buy it. Just do your research and figure out if it's worth it for your store. La or next, we have a um, Grayson Polo, another one of those brands that's sort of falling off. I think I had one of these in the video yesterday. And this one ended up selling for $28. Best offer had been sitting for quite a some time, about nine months it's been sitting and that's simply just because whenever I listed this nine months ago, they were going for a lot more. And over time, the value has just gone down drastically. They are now in TJ Maxx, Marshall's Home Goods, selling their polos for $40. New with tags, and those are like geometric ones, uh, patterned ones, striped ones, everything. So these are these polos are definitely going to be in the 20s, like low 20s, mid 20s here, probably within the next year. But as of right now, they're pretty decent to get if you can pick them up for cheap or eight bucks or less in our opinion. Next is a Wrangler fire resistant button up shirt. <clears throat> Had a couple little tiny spots on it, nothing major. Sold within a week and it sold for $25.99. So 10% off that we typically send every morning whenever we wake up. And yeah, Wrangler fire resistant stuff seems to be doing pretty well, especially their shirts for us. I don't know about their jeans and the other categories, but we've found a few of these shirts in the past month and they are selling very well. Typically get around 25 to 30 bucks for them. Next, we have a Peter Millar polo, summer comfort, solid blue, size XL, nothing super special. This is one of those things uh, that I was just talking about where a lot of the times people will say that they struggle selling Peter Millar summer comforts or just Peter Millar in general in their store. But for some reason for us in our store, it's 100% sell through rate and we have no problem at all selling them for on the higher side of comps. So this one ended up selling for a $21 offer. So again, solid color, solid blue, XL, nothing special, no logos on it, luckily. And we were able to charge 21 bucks, whereas typically you'll see comps, you know, all over the board in between $5 all the way up to around 25 for sure like this. So, and again, I believe that it's because of the business model, the pictures, the quality of the photos showing all the measurements accurately, as well as having returns on 
best offers and for us we promote as well which pushes us way up in the ranking whenever it comes to people searching things next is bonobos uh, this brand is not good typically it's we're still learning this brand so fyi everything i'm about to say is just take it for as a grain of salt but for bonobos <clears throat> across the board it's typically generally almost always not good uh, whenever it comes to their shirts but we are experimenting with their patterned shirts and it seems to be going okay we've got to buy them super cheap and they usually sell around sell around for 15 to 20 bucks which we're cool with if you know we're paying two three four dollars for items uh, this one ended up selling for the ask price of 19.99 but just be super careful with this brand they do have some bolos out there in other categories like blazers for example the bolo or the uh, bonobos blazers their jackets do super well like close to a hundred dollars if not more than a hundred dollars but and their shirts and typically their pants it's just not super high sale prices i don't know anything about this brand so i'm going to just tell you and then move on uh, it's a new tags j press it ended up selling for uh, the ask price of 37 dollars and 82 cents uh, it being new with tags actually it's new with defects i think that's just a thread pull i don't know what that is kendall took pictures of this but anyways i don't know anything about this brand i don't know how well they sell used i don't know how well they sell new without defects so do your research see if this one's a good pickup for used or not i'm just waiting till i find it again in the thrift store and then i'll look it up then and see how well it does next is marine layer this is just a pair of drawstring shorts nothing too special uh cotton and they were size medium <clears throat> they um marine layer has fallen off quite a bit a lot of their stuff doesn't go for a lot of money but marine layer in our store is doing pretty good so we are still buying it and we are still selling it and i believe we paid probably four bucks for this because we like to buy marine layer at you know less than five dollars and we ended up selling this for the full ask price of 26.99 and i believe this sold within two weeks of being listed so really good sale going into summer people are shopping for shorts now and yeah but marine layer is another one make sure you do your research it's comps and stuff and sell through rates all over the board next we have a wrangler denim vest uh, this is i believe a vintage one yeah vintage usa made super cool vest um, size small so not a great size but the comps on this this is one of those brands where like i never or this this exact item the denim vests for wranglers i've never really found them so i had to look it up in the thrift store sell through rate was good pricing was pretty good I think we paid $7.99 for this thing in a Goodwill just recently within the last month, and it sold for the full ash price of $32.99, which is right around where the comps were. So great sale. Make sure you're looking up your stuff and figuring out what's worth selling. Next is Brax, uh, another brand that I'm not super familiar with. <clears throat> I know that you have to buy this brand cheap, and as in I'm not familiar with it, I mean, I don't know exactly the sell through rates on all the categories for this brand. Um, I know that the it's not a hundred percent i know that so uh, i mentioned in the last video we don't always buy 100 percent sell through rate it's what we aim for but we go as low as 50 percent. i believe brax is one of those 50 percent sell through rate brands and the pricing is on the lower side so whenever we find brands like this that are lower sell through rate lower price we got to spend a lot less on them typically so this one was probably a four or five dollar pickup ended up selling for the ask price of 21 dollars and 33 cents uh, again not recommending to buy this brand since we're just both fully full-time uh, self-employed people we have to buy some of these lower margin items to stay afloat and make it worthwhile but if you're looking for a larger business model a brand like this is great for you ryan michael so this has huge margins in it uh, i think we paid 7.99 to 9.99 for this it is a silk pearl snap western shirt but ryan michael also makes a lot of cotton shirts and you know all over the place they're all it's a western brand and all of their shirts sell for a ton of money and this one ended up selling within a couple weeks for 59.99 uh, again ryan michael amazing brand we always buy it whenever we find it but it's not super common next is peter millar summer comfort this is a long sleeve button-up dress shirt uh, this sat for about two months and sold for a best offer of $21.27. Not a horrible sale. I used to be able to get $25 to $29 for these, but now I'm sitting at around the $20 to $25 mark. 
So definitely can't be spending. I have to pass on these most of the time in the thrift stores as the thrift stores are pricing them at eight and 10 bucks. And so there's not a whole lot of wiggle room to play with at that price whenever you're spending 10 for it and sell it for 21. But if I can find them for seven bucks or less, eight bucks or less, um, I typically pick them up because they do really well for us. The summer comfort long sleeve button up shirts. So this also had a logo I just noticed on the sleeve, some country club or something. Next is a Lululemon, pair of Lululemon shorts. Um, nothing super special here. Uh, honestly, they're just solid black and I'm pretty sure it's a cotton blend. And I think, yeah, model numbers in there. I think this is before we sort of knew how to look up these model numbers super well, or maybe Kendall just skipped it. I don't know, but either way, they ended up selling for $34.99. So not a horrible sale whatsoever. Lululemon not doing as hot as, you know, Viore and stuff is now it's, it's the sell through rate is no longer hundred percent on a lot of their stuff but there are some things that still sell well and it's just a bread and butter for us. We can find so much of it here in Dallas that we just don't mind, you know, spending up on it and making 10 bucks and flipping it really quick because we again, find so much of it. This was the best sale of the day. Uh, my wife, Kendall found a golf bag for 12.99 and in it was at six golf clubs. I talked about this in a recent video. Uh, four of those clubs were these AP one irons, uh, a seven through P wedge. So not a complete set, just about half a set. And then she also found a four iron an AP one, four iron, which sold in 24 hours for 50 bucks. This set of four ended up selling for the full ash price of $150. And then there, we still have the golf bag, which we're giving to her stepdad. And then a one more golf club, which is an SM seven Titleist wedge. So an incredible pickup for 1299, going to be over $200 profit easily after fees and stuff and cannot complain at all. I love doing golf club stuff as I am a golfer, but it is super hard to find golf clubs here in Dallas as it is a very competitive market, just as shoes are in video games and vintage stuff. Uh, let me make, Okay. Yeah, we're good. Sweet. So we've got an untuck it two items left. We got an untuck it two XL wrinkle free untuck. It's fallen off quite a bit harder to sell now, but the, we like to buy these bigger sizes and we like to buy untuck it's that are $4 or less, uh, because we know that they will sit a little longer, sometimes typically five, six months, but this one ended up selling pretty quickly, actually, uh, within a month for $22. So best offer of 22. And I assume that is because of the sizing. So 2XL typically does better for us than obviously mediums and larges and stuff. So yeah. Lastly, Johnny O again. So this one ended up selling for a better price of $22.86. And that is because it is a polyester spandex material, whereas the other one was, I believe, a cotton blend. And as well as this is a check pattern. So pattern stuff on most brands, but even Johnny O as well as their polyester spandex material does slightly better than their generic solid pattern cotton blend stuff or polyester blend stuff that doesn't have spandex. Uh, this type of shirt today, we are not picking up unless it is $5 or less. So we do not, we used to be able to last year, you know, last year we were able to spend eight bucks on shirts like this and feel comfortable doing that. But just because this one sold at 2286 does not mean that all of them are going to sell at 2286, even with this pattern and stuff. A lot of the times these will sell for 19 and sometimes they sell for 24. So that's the 22 items that we sold on Tuesday last week. And like I said, we're going until Sunday. So every day this week, uh, even Sunday, a video is going to go live exactly like this, hopefully showing you guys everything that we sell and hopefully it turns into brands that you guys didn't know were worth picking up and yeah so if you guys like this one please smash the the like button i've got one guy who since day one literally whenever he gets off work every day i post a video he comes on here and he dislikes a video so smash the like button overpower his dislikes and i'll catch you guys in the one tomorrow